Tip number one is if you want to reset a parameter, whether it be a knob or a fader to its default value, um, you simply select it and hit delete. For example, if I'm mucking around with the volume of something when I'm just doing a really quick mix and I want to reset it back to its default value, I hit delete, it'll go back to zero. Also, you'll notice some of these things have a little arrow which turns orange when you move it. This is a pan, so pan right, pan left. You can click on the little arrow and it'll also reset it back to the default value. This is really handy if you're mucking around with various parameters in um, a synth or an effect and you're just doing trial and error and it doesn't sound good, you just hit delete and move on. Hit delete, move on, hit delete, move on. Tip number two is if you want to move everything in the piano roll up or down an octave, you simply need to select it all with command or um, control A and select all the notes, hold down shift and push up to move it up an octave or down to move it down an octave. If you don't hold shift it'll just go up by the semitones but holding on shift will go up and down. Really good for bringing something up or down really quickly um, to help it fit better in the mix. You'd be surprised how often something sounds better in a um, different octave. Tip number three is if you have the pencil tool selected and you're trying to draw lines but it's snapping to the grid, like so, um, you can hold down the alt key and it'll let you draw free form lines like that, without snapping at all, so you can draw your own curves without actually turning the grid off. Tip number four is if you want to triplet the grid, you can simply push command or control three, it'll triplet the grid for you, and again to turn it back. If you want to turn the grid off completely, it's command or control four, that'll turn the grid off, which will, will allow you to move things around completely free without snapping, and then you push command four, and it'll turn it back on again for you. Tip number five, if you want to move just a few notes in the piano roll, all you have to do is shift click them. So if I want to move this one, this one, and I can also shift drag as well, those two, I can move now move those two up or down however I like, or use them with tip number two, hold down shift and bring them all up an octave or all down an octave. Tip number six is if you're playing something back and you stop it, if you want to start playing from exactly where you last stopped it, hold down the shift key, push space bar. If I don't hold down shift, it'll always start from where the cursor is, but if I hold down shift, it'll always play back from where I stopped. Tip number seven, if you select a clip and duplicate it with command or control D, it'll duplicate the clip and the automation line. If you duplicate it out as long as you want it and then um, take the first instance of the loop and drag it out over the rest, this will create a loop for you so now you can go in add new notes, muck with it, and all of the um, notes within that instance will actually be altered. Of course you can go down later, down in the track, and change the automation lines how you want, but this will always remain consistent. Tip number eight is if you have a loop or, or something which is really, really chopped up, your coffee pasted, deleted, and all that kind of stuff to the point where it's messy and it can't really be stretched out anymore, just select the area of the loop Hit Command or Control J to consolidate it, which will turn it into a nice, neatly timed loop for you. Turn it into a loop, and now you can drag this out like you would any other loop. Tip number nine is if you are using the main navigation thing to scroll around, or the clip navigation down here below, if you get in and you want to zoom out to 100%, you just double click it, it'll zoom right out for you and show you everything. Tip number 10 is if you turn on this little QWERTY keyboard um, icon up here, it turns your QWERTY keyboard into a virtual piano or a virtual MIDI controller, so you can actually play notes on your computer keyboard. This is great for playing synths and whatnot, but it's also good for a sampler. For example, here we have an impulse with eight samples loaded up. I've got the track armed here, I've got this armed here, and so I can play the QWERTY keyboard. Play samples. If I hit record, I can simply record in a drum beat. And of course you'd want to quantize that with command U after you've done it so it all snaps to the grid for you. That's it.